Walt Disney World is literally the number one tourist destination in the world. Everyone wants to come here at least once in their life. But there is one thing that if you do it when you're at Walt Disney World, you might be considered odd, strange, or just flat out weird. And I'm doing that today. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, everybody. It's JoJo. And today it's up to you guys to figure out what that odd action is. We're starting our day at the Polynesian because you know what? I wanted food and we're getting Kona Cafe for lunch. Recently, Walt Disney World resorts have been more strict when it comes to parking but if you do have a food reservation not a mobile order an actual restaurant reservation they'll let you park at the resort still also there's a few d23 announcements i want to talk about specifically an attraction that no one is talking about and we'll get to that later in the video this is definitely becoming one of my top five restaurants i eat on property they have a very wide variance when it comes to the food you can get here so if I want something big, I can. If I want something small, something quick. And I mean, look at this view. It's so pretty. In my life in general, I'm always about celebrating the small accomplishments. It makes your day that much better. So two things to celebrate right now. One, I actually put sunscreen on my face today. That's great, because yesterday definitely burnt it off um, while uh, waiting for Mirabelle's line. Go check out that vlog if you haven't already too. I'm hydrating myself. I'm actually drinking some water before three o'clock today. Mm. Now, I don't do this often, but it's because of this video in particular. I'm getting a nice meal. Got some beer, gonna get biscuits and an entree. Why did I think the pot sticker was gonna be like, you know, like dumplings, not this big thing? <laughs> I thought I've had this before, but apparently not. It still has the consistency of a dumpling. It's a little more like flakier, but it has the flavor. It's just one big dumpling on a plate, basically. Well, everybody, cheers. I hope you're having a good day, even if you're going to bed. Just starting, um, I know, hope it's well. Ah, yum, yum. It's literally just one big dumpling. Obviously it's like an appetizer, so it's probably meant for like the whole table. But this is going to be my entree. This is gonna fill me up. Oh, I'm so silly. It's technically five pot stickers and they fry the bottoms all together and they flip it upside down. That's why I was a little more crispier. It was good. As I was finishing up lunch, always making new friends. What's your name? Jen. And? And I'm Joel. Where are you guys from? We are from outside of Columbus, Ohio. That's awesome. We're heading off to Magic Kingdom. Luckily, we watch you at home. And <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Into you at lunch I ran into up. you. You were right next so. to me. Well, nice meeting you guys. Thanks for saying Same hi. Here. Take care. <laughs> We're on monorail coral. The new extension to the Polynesian is coming along pretty quickly. <laughs> I feel like every day there's more and more. Come to think about it, I still have not stayed at the actual Grand Floridian, like the main building. I don't know when it reopened, but the walkway's open again. Magic Kingdom two days in a row. Oh my gosh. I must be really enjoying the spooky vibes. And I must say, I wish Disney World here in Orlando did a little more spooky in the day. The only time you're gonna get like spooky characters or spooky events is during the Halloween parties, which are a separate ticketed event. But in Disneyland, during the day, they have characters all dressed up as spooky people, which I love. I've spotted Kyle, Casey, and his sister up top. I don't think I've ever actually ridden in this vehicle before, which is pretty cool. Also, it's really weird right now knowing that Kyle's just above me. If I got here a couple seconds earlier, I probably could have joined him on the top, but I didn't realize how quick this thing filled up. What a nice relaxing way to get around the Magic Kingdom. Can you guys spot Kyle? They're all taking a selfie. I feel like a spy right now. Or a stalker. Eh, doesn't really matter. I think he saw me. I think he saw me, or the sister did. Oops. I think he's trying to go back. Hey, uh, can we uh, go again? I think they'll let you. Kyle doesn't notice. We're just gonna let this roll. Look at him. You're, you're, you're catching uh, behind the scenes of Kyle. Even Casey doesn't see me yet. What the heck? How does how do they not only Kyle's sister, the one who's usually never here, notices me? Wow. What? 
There you go. Kyle doesn't see me still. He's blind, bro. He's literally blind. <laughs> I saw the ice cream over there. I'm like, it's over there. You know? I was under you guys. I didn't mean to. I was just. Wait, really? Yeah, I was getting on and I was like, wait, is that them? I saw you guys taking a selfie. What are you doing here? So you know. Yeah. Weren't you just here yesterday? I was just here yesterday. I'm back here again. So, what are you doing? What are you doing? And they're ha they have to find out. Oh. Oh. Man. Oh. <laughs> He's going to the Utilidors. Guys. <laughs> I wish. Sneaking around Disney. That would get me views. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I never got to see the door. It looks good. But you look better, of course. <laughs> oh, man. Forcing these two to uh, pull the sword from the stone. If you guys get it, I'll actually be a little salty. Yeah, I'll be a little hurt. I'll be a little hurt. I feel lucky. You've never tried? I've never tried before. That's crazy. But we're going to give it a go. See, right about now is usually when I see the sword get pulled. Like, it's weird. It, it's, it's, it's a horrible feeling, but... <laughs> if you pull the sword in the stone, I will give you $100 right now. What's your name? My name is Casey. Casey, I hope you don't get this. Go ahead, try. If she gets this, I'm going to be... Whew. Thank gosh she didn't get that. Okay, what's your name? I'm Alexa. Alexa, go ahead. Go ahead. $100 on the line right now. Look at y'all hand sanitizing after the sword. I, I don't blame you. I always sanitize as well. So where are you guys going right now? Uh, Thunder. Beyond Thunder, actually. We have an early preview. For what's oh, going yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, yeah. I was going to mention that. Uh -huh. But not like that, but something like you that. tell them. <laughs> we're going today. We can't wait. That, that, that's crazy. Beyond the Big Thunder Mountain. Yes. You know we're going to Villain's Land? We're getting, we're getting the first yeah. look. First look right Just here. Just Kyle and me. Right. Nobody else. Not even oh, Disney Parks it. blog. <laughs> What's one weird thing when it comes to Disney World? One weird thing? I know. Odd question. It's a weird question. Oh, gosh. Is there anything weird? Are, are we talking about Disney adults? Anything. Um, yeah, it could be a Disney adult. It's just me, a preference. Give me, give me a second. Give me a second. You guys know anything at the top? I'm trying to think of something weird. There's got to be. I just can't think of it. Hmm, maybe there isn't. I need like 20 minutes. Okay. So I didn't know if JoJo was like saying Disney adults are weird, but they're not because we're Disney adults. But technically, we are weird because I, I think I'm a weird person. But I don't think anything's weird about Disney. Us Disney adults were cool. Yeah, yeah. Also, randomly, Peter Pan's line was like empty, so why not say hi? <laughs> Thought I smelled codfish. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, hey, hey, look. Want me to tolerate? No, it's not you. Oh. <laughs> It's that guy? It's that guy? Oh, awkward. I think he might be a pirate. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's trying to grow a beard. Not, not really working. Not very successful, but, no. but that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, then, for all we know, he could be hiding a tattoo or something. Yeah, yeah. He's definitely... I definitely think he's one of them. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. I can't mention the smell. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Fishy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, those two right there too. Uh, yeah, they're they're cool. They come Are from you sure? they come from the Mermaids Lagoon. Oh, okay. I don't yeah. know. I don't know about that one on the right. Oh. Uh, she, she's wearing pirate pants. Oh yeah, yeah. That's true. They're, they're all ripped up and whatnot. Yeah, pirate. Yeah. So pants. so two pirates and a, what do you think? A mermaid or what? <laughs> Pixie or mermaid. Oh, she is a mermaid. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? You know, you know, she's flying around here. Think yeah. of my happy thoughts and whatnot. Right. What about you? Um, hanging, just actually flying solo today. Really? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of fun sometimes. Knowing to hold us down. Oh, so you're not with that? Crew. Oh well, no. Well, I'm, I'm kind of with them. You, you know. <laughs> The pirates' face says otherwise. Yeah, well, <laughs> the, the pirates are trying to like join me. Well, you know? I, well, I see that you're trying to grow a beard too. But I mean, okay, okay. Oh, I, 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 just, I just didn't shave today. Okay, there's a difference. So, so you're trying to grow your disguise. Facts. Facts. No printer you know, right there. You can help me out with the mission. I got you. What you need? You know, um, I heard that Tinkerbell's long lost cousin is around here somewhere. Oh, else. okay. Who's yeah, that? yeah. Well, I would assume they're cousins because they have the same last last name. Is that oh. Tinkerbell has Tinker in the front yeah, and Rose has Mirror in the front? Oh, Mirabel. Yeah. Oh. I mean, I would I would assume they're related. Yeah. They have, both have the same last name. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Mira, I, I, I know where she is. I can yeah? definitely go. Have you go. gone to go see her yet? Yeah, I saw her actually. Okay. She's great. You know, I found out. I don't have any powers, but she told me we're all special. You don't really? need you don't need special powers. I mean, I'm special. I know. I, I know. You can fly. Okay, <laughs> Peter, I know you can fly. I know. But yeah, and I also was able to get that sword. Of no, no, don't, don't. I wasn't gonna bring it up today. I wasn't gonna bring up the sword. Oh, you weren't. You weren't. That's You're hurting my feelings. <laughs> You're hurting my feelings. Yeah. But you know what? I was able to take the sword out, have fun with it all day yesterday, and then I put it back in for you. Ah, well. One of these days, maybe we should try to do it together over there. Let's try to pull it. Oh, well, I guess you want. just gonna have to try and catch it. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Good seeing you, Peter. Well, wait, well, don't mind only get a portrait together. Oh, true. Yeah? Let's do that. Yeah. Her mister can help us out. Oh yeah, she's. Oh, <laughs> right. well, she used to. Be. Okay, let's see. Um, she, you know, she lost. She's just making a documentary. <laughs> She lost, uh, Mermissa over here, she lost all her happy thoughts. Oh. And then that's, that's when her tail disappeared. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Well, is it okay if you take a portrait of us? Is that okay? I can definitely do that. Lovely. I still know how to take photos. Fair enough. Exactly. Yeah, but we're trying to help her with her happy thoughts, so that way she can get her tail back. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Peter, let's get a let's portrait. Let's do it. Let's do it. Bye. I'll see you later. Bye, Peter. See you later. <laughs> JoJo's uh, documentary, it's actually a short going on Disney Plus, so stay tuned. And you guys think I'm joking? I'm not. I am not. I would love to make a documentary about the characters of Walt Disney World. Uh -huh. I'd get like a whole crew, mm -hmm. stage, sound, lighting. Yep, Jody was the right man. We could feature you in it. Yeah, yeah but mainly you though, mainly you though. <laughs> and what's beyond Big Thunder. <laughs> what's beyond <laughs> Country Bear Jamboree, D23, recently announced that they're actually changing the songs to more Disney classics like The Bear Necessity. Are you guys happy about that? Or are you sad that they're getting rid of a classic? You know, they're kind of refurbishing the ride. I mean, at least they're not getting rid of it completely. This might actually spark some new excitement for this ride, especially for the younger generation. I know like this is one of Walt Disney's like original attractions, but there are some songs that are a little inappropriate for children, I do add. So let me know what you think down below. Always making new friends, what's your name? I'm Kate. And? Morgan. And where are you from? Wisconsin. Personally, I wasn't really a fan of the Country Bears. I never went on this ride as a kid. My parents didn't grow up with it. But as I started becoming more of a Disney, you know, content creator and a cast member here, I started to appreciate these bears more. They actually spent so much money on the movie Country Bears. It didn't do the best. There was a lot of star power in it, but it just didn't do well in the box office. So again, I'm curious what you guys think down below. Oh, you can't even see that. My favorite character for sure though is Liverlips. Where is he? I believe that's Liverlips. He's my favorite. Second, Big Al. I used to hang out with them a lot back in the day if you get my drift. Into the theater we go. I think it's one of those situations where you don't miss it till it's gone. So me sitting here right now, I'm like, oh, wait. <laughs> I can only enjoy this for a limited amount of time now. I mean, we don't know when it's changing, I believe. Now, when I say there's a song in this that's inappropriate, like, it's inappropriate for Disney standards, but it's really not that bad overall. I'll show you the song. It's pretty funny. I like it. Liver Lips. I think he's in there. Yeah, that's definitely Liver Lips. He looks a little different than when you can meet him in person, but hey. So actually, I was paying attention more to the lyrics that time around. There's a lot of like mature content and they're talking about sticking with someone's wife even though she's ugly but she doesn't curse. Um, all the guys that turn me on, turn me down. Uh, talking about shooting someone. Uh, tears will be your chaser. Eh, should they get rid of it? I mean, they are getting rid of it. Well, that version. I personally would rather them just kind of update the audio and take out a few things, but keep the original songs. I mean, it's the one piece of mature content, I feel like, in Walt Disney World. And I feel like the little kids don't get it. I mean, it's not like spot on, you know? So, I don't know. Let me know what you think down below. Jeez Louise, look how much construction is happening here. You got the 
the wires and the barb and the metal and like a whole little like tiara on top of Tiana's food now. Like the water tower. There's a lot going on here. Okay, they're making some moves. I am super excited <laughs> about this ride. I'm honestly kind of more excited about the crowd it's gonna bring the first day. At least for now, it looks like they're not getting rid of this uh, Splash Mountain play area for the kids. I wonder if this is gonna stay even after the ride opens. Kyle brought up a good point though. Don't you think it's kind of weird how Disney recently has just been making like announcements but not dates? Personally, I would really like in the next year or two to just get like <laughs> an actual date for something, something to look forward to. I mean, I'm excited about the new expansions in Animal Kingdom, but you know, a year and a half, two years ago, they did mention about like a villain's land behind Frontierland and they never brought that up again. So unfortunately, I have to assume that that's not happening. I don't know. Just I'd rather them say nothing until there's something concrete so I can truly get excited for it. Because the Villains Land Park, that sounds awesome. Speaking about Disney making announcements. Are you good, Liberty Boat? You good? I'm trying to block you. I'm trying to block. Anyway, hey, what's up, guys? How are we doing? There's one ride that Disney announced a long time ago, and everyone has just forgotten about it. And, like, it just died. Like, no references, no updates. And this was a concrete plan. And it happened before the pandemic, so that's why I'm shocked that like nothing came out of it. But we have to go to another park to check that out. I am gonna try the Sword and Stone one more time today. I feel reinvigorated. It's been a minute since I've been attempting it, so now it's full cylinders. Well, guys, we tried to pull the sword, it didn't work. Ah. Yeah, I like your Cinderella, though. Thank you so much. So you guys have been here for a week. Yes, yes. yes. That's crazy, yes. and you're leaving tonight. Yes. We do. Well, I'm glad I was able to capture your last day. I hope it's been fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's been magical. A blast. Lovely, yeah. awesome. <laughs> I like your shirt, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Colby and. Oh my gosh, your shirts are amazing. I love Stitch. Are you guys having a fun day? Yeah. What are you doing next? Yeah. <laughs> going on a Disney cruise. You're going on a Disney cruise? Yeah. Can I come? The evil stepsisters. Look at them. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm not interrupting anything. <laughs> You're very popular. <laughs> How many fans do you have now? Like <laughs> 10 more than you? 10 more? <laughs> <laughs> Good Not to see you guys. Possible. You're you're more popular. I go know, go I meet am. your fans. Go meet your fans. Then why are you interrupting me? Sorry, sorry. Go. Ah. Unless you have a ring or you're rich, you can't interrupt. Sorry. Hey, your sister's better. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Leave me alone. I'll, I'll leave you alone now. <laughs> It's kind of crazy how we bump into each other so much more now that we don't twice, live next to each other. Yeah. In one day. Well, have fun. What are you doing next? Uh, we're going on Winnie the Pooh. Another successful day in the Magic Kingdom. Honestly, the evil stepsisters give me such Disneyland vibes, you know. They're not afraid to uh, go out of bounds a little bit, if you get what I'm saying. Now that I think about it, though, Peter Pan was being pretty silly, too. Overall, just a good day for characters. Anyway. There's the castle. Wait, there. There's the castle. It's time to go to our next theme park. Let's go. Pew. I hope that worked. Woo! We are in Epcot now. Did you guys guess right? By the way, everyone, if you missed my announcement, I am going to the new Frozen Land in Hong Kong Disneyland. I'm excited. They actually have Frozen Ever After there, but they also have like a bobsled roller coaster. Apparently, it's going to be updated. I'm definitely going to go on it. I'm excited to show it to you guys. And I did find out. I did my due diligence. Uh, you can record in the park. Joy comes out this way, too. Well, it seems like there is... Uh, no line for Figment. By the way, I don't know if you guys have seen Figment fall. Here's a clip of that. Down goes Figment. But don't worry, Figment will be safe now. Basically, when he was coming out, he was tripping on a little groove right here. But they, you know, at Disney wanted everyone to be safe. So they uh, kind of barred it up to make sure he doesn't trip anymore. <laughs> that was so sad to see. We're going to go on this ride, which is slow. The fun thing about this ride is that there's AC and it's usually a walk-on. I've been going about my day alone, other than seeing Kyle, but I just ran into a new friend and she's joining me to keep me company. What's your name? Hi, I'm Allie. Hi, Allie. Do you like Nemo? Love. 
<laughs> Do you? Actually? <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, we usually see a castle right here. Our Uber has arrived. Nemo. Nemo. You know, I've actually never seen a jellyfish in real life, but I'm actually terrified. I think my dad has been stung by one, maybe? I don't know. Fish are friends, not food. This room gets me dizzy, so I always have to look forward. Because if I don't look forward, then like, I just start getting confused at where I am. Ugh, even right now, I don't like this. In the blue world. Fun fact, when I went on this ride in 2019, I went on this with a friend, and she thought the aquarium was fake. And I always think about that when I'm on this ride, because that was very silly. Oh, this is neat. The Seas Directory. Uh, I didn't even realize there were dolphins here. Good to see you. You have a good day. You do your thing. I'm going on this. Today, we are talking about Spaceship Earth. Only a five minute wait. Let's go on the ride. I think this is my first time on this ride in 2023. I mean, that's pretty unlikely, but like, I have no idea the last time I was on this. It's also a ride I necessarily don't choose to go on by myself. This is technically a roller coaster, by the way. A very slow, slow, slow moving roller coaster. There we are, guys. Do you see us? We're on that screen. Describes you best. I live to work. I work to live. I live. I work to live. Right? I. I don't. Want, I work to live. I live to work. Uh, I work to live. The one where work isn't supposed to be the main priority. I want a car that drives itself. That's funny because we have that today now. I focused on like work. Here's my future. Did I actually get a picture? Where, where am I? Hello? Was I not there? Okay. I have a picture. Oh, I didn't get a face. I have a high-tech home office. Wow. Yes, I need the highest digital tools so I can make better vlogs for you guys. Honestly, a car driving itself would be nice so I could edit when I was going to and from Disney. You know how quick I'd be able to upload vlogs? <laughs> oh, that ride is 13 and a half minutes long every time I get off of it. I want to take a nap. I like it, but it could use a little update, which it was supposed to. Yeah, so before the pandemic, they actually announced that they were going to completely refurbish this ride, completely change it. They even had like an end day. It's like this is the last day you can go on this ride. But then the pandemic happened, and by the time everything got back to normal, they have not said a word about this. And obviously, I don't think they're planning on changing. You can't even see the ball right now. And they also mentioned the Mary Poppins, but that one was like kind of more like conceptual. There was a whole like intro for this. There was uh, cover art. And again, just the biggest thing for me is they actually launched a date, which is insane. The fact that they just kind of dropped it completely. It's like we forgot about it. Would you guys like them to change it? I wouldn't mind them keeping it the way it is, but maybe just refurbishing it or maybe adding some new like futures because the future that they talk about in there is 
kind of happening right now. Either way, I find it funny that Disney has gone from giving out dates and then taking them away. In today's market, I feel like there's something new happening everywhere, not just Disney, but Universal, SeaWorld, Busch Garden. So I love Disney. I want Disney to be successful. I want everyone to be happy with Disney. So, you know, give us something new. Give us a new date. I mean, eh. Is there any other rides that have gone under the radar that I'm not thinking about? If you know any, let me know down below. I would love to hear your opinions. Quick pause on the video because this pertains to this actual vlog which I'm editing right now when you're watching it. But Disney just made a huge announcement. They are potentially investing $60 billion into the theme parks. I just find the timing really funny because we were just talking on the video about how they like making these promises and they've been talking about all this new stuff but not putting in actual dates. Again, with Josh tomorrow talking to investors, this is one of those things where, hey, we plan on doing this. Now, is this just something that they're saying to make people happy in the moment and focus on other things? I hope not. But there is so much potential with these theme parks around the world. Disney's starting to realize that if they put money into the theme parks, it can be a huge money maker. Everyone wins, especially us theme park lovers. Josh Damar even mentioned the idea of a Wakanda themed land. That's again, Blue Sky Project. No idea where that's gonna go, but it is such an interesting era where Disney is saying, look at all this stuff we might do. I just hope the future comes sooner than later. Well, everyone, before we end this video, I wonder if you figured out what we were doing today, which is going to the parks by yourself. I think a lot of people are afraid to do it because one, it might look weird, or two, you know, you just don't want to feel alone. This is Disney, the largest tourist destination in the world. You get to see families, uh, couples, friends just hanging out. But I make this video to tell anyone who's thinking about coming by themselves or just afraid to go by themselves or feels bad for going by themselves that like, it's okay, it's fun. I mean, I was able to do so much today because I was by myself. And granted, I did run into a few people, some new friends and old friends, but regardless, I had a blast by myself. I can time where I wanna be, how I wanna be. I know a long time ago, someone was like, Jojo, I really appreciate your videos because sometimes as a young male myself, I feel bad coming out to the parks, but seeing you do it makes me feel better about doing it myself. And that's the goal. I'm just trying to provide some positive reinforcement for anyone who wants to be happy and do their own thing, because it's worth it. Um, you're not weird. I'm weird. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and like, subscribe, share, ring that bell. I am so excited for China. It's still a couple of months out, but I got a lot of fun updates before that. Every day is a blessed day to be alive.